guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video it's going to be a simple get ready with me kind of video i have not done a makeup tutorial in so long i have just been doing unboxings monthly favorites will i buy videos but i haven't really sat down and filmed a makeup video or a makeup tutorial for you guys so this is just something that is simple and easy to do and anybody can achieve it and anybody who has all kinds of skin types can go for this as well. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rama. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to sit down and watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys have not done so already, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And also hit the notification bell so you guys are always posted whenever I upload a new video here on my channel. If you guys want to sit down and get ready with me and find out what kind of makeup look I have in store for you guys, then let's just go ahead and get started. I feel like I'm looking somewhere different and I'm looking kind of weird because my camera is higher up than normal because I do have this big mirror right here so if my eyes look weird, that's why. But um, today's makeup tutorial is just going to be something very simple. This has been my current go-to everyday glowy simple makeup look if that makes sense so this is what i usually wear almost pretty much every day or every time i go out to run some errands or go to the mall or you know i i don't want to look too glam but i want to look presentable and awake and look like i have really healthy looking skin i am right now bare face i did zoom you up a little bit just so you guys can see a little bit of my face. So I did apply moisturizer, a little bit of a moisturizer beforehand this morning actually. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more moisturizer because I do like it when my skin is moisturized and stuff. So the key to actually having glowy, healthy looking skin, especially underneath your makeup if you want to achieve that glow from within healthy skin but it looks more natural and stuff if that makes sense the key to that is skincare so skincare i cannot stress enough how important skincare is no matter what skin type you have skincare is so important and it's so important to remain consistent in your skincare and you know find out what your skin really likes and all that good stuff i did cleanse my face earlier this morning with my usual clean and clear morning burst cleanser and i also did apply a moisturizer i did take my toner out because i do want to try out a new toner so i haven't been using the clean and clear toner in a while because i'm kind of looking for a toner that doesn't have salicylic acid in it so i did take out my toner out of my skincare routine for right now but i did also switch up my moisturizer so i changed up my moisturizer and i purchased this moisturizer a couple of weeks ago at sephora and i have been obsessed with it so the moisturizer i'm gonna go ahead and apply for you guys is from origin and this is the origin skin thing energy boosting gel moisturizer this is a gel hydrogen energy so this is what the packaging looked like and it's so so good and it does have a little um thing to protect it with this is what the inside looks like i've used quite a lot of it so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my moisturizer I absolutely love this moisturizer. It has a um, citrus scent to it, so it really, really helps you awake, keep you know, wake you up in the morning and all that. And I actually use this morning and night. Absolutely love this, and it's from Sephora, but it's really, really affordable. Okay, so next up is my primer. I have been using a hydrating primer to achieve this glowy type of skin look. So the primer I'm going to be using is from Maybelline. So this is the Master Prime primer and this is the hydrating one. So I really really love this because it does gives you a very glow from within look and it is very very hydrating and it is from the drugstore so it's super super affordable. So it does look like a moisturizer when you squeeze it out. So I do apply a very generous amount of that as you can tell. I hear buzzing that's my phone on my filming table and it just keeps buzzing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and gently blend it all over my skin. If you guys are oily or you know have oily skin there are other types of primers from Maybelline that is good for oily skin individuals so if you guys want a more natural less hydrating look to this makeup look then you guys can go ahead and purchase something else that is not 
hydrating because this will give you a dewy look but it's not like a dewy like disgusting dewy like oily dewy you know what i mean okay next up is another primer that i want to use also um i have been using this primer so much this is from touch and soul and i absolutely love this primer this is such a great for minimizing primer and what i usually do is i'll just squirt probably just one pump right there and i will just apply this on my t-zone area where i usually have the most problematic pore area and i usually just pat it gently onto my skin to make sure that it's really sinked into my skin and it does such a great job at just blurring out those pores and just making it look very minimized Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to foundation. So this foundation I have been obsessed with. I featured this in my April favorite and I also did a review and wear test on this foundation. And this is just an amazing, affordable foundation. So this is from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. So I am in the shade 470. I think this is in Golden Sand or something like that. So I always forget what 470 is. I think it's Radiant Honey or Radiant Sand. One of those two. So what I usually do with this one, my hands are slippery from the primers. What I love about this foundation is that it does have a pump. So I love that about this foundation. So what I will usually do is I'll pump about pump and I have to two pumps and then what I'll do is I'll just dot this all over my face and then I'll take my Morphe Beauty sponge and normally I would put it with the uh, different kind of setting spray but for today I'm going to be using the Avion facial spray this thing is huge but I just like to just put a little bit of this onto my sponge so uh, what I'll do is I'll just Put, put this side right here and then I'll just buff out the foundation. The best thing about this foundation is that it is medium coverage. I would say light to medium coverage but you can definitely build it up and not make yourself look cakey or anything like that. And it does have an SPF of, I think SPF of 30. I'm not quite sure. I can't see the font of this. I know it has SPF in it. So I do like to put my beauty sponge or my foundation brush a little bit with a any setting spray. Just so it just, I think it just makes my foundation look more flawless. And I actually learned this technique from Jaclyn Hill. So I have been using this technique since I've watched that video. I did incorporate this to my how to blend out foundation video on like the how to for makeup begin for makeup for beginners series. Can't talk today. I will have that link on the card over here but I did incorporate this technique where you just put your makeup sponge or your, your foundation brush with any setting spray to just make this foundation look so flawless. Okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take whatever is left on the back of my hand and just blend that out. I'm also going to go ahead and bring this foundation down to my neck. It does look, it does, it's a little bit, a little bit darker for me, I guess, because my neck is a little bit whiter than my actual face, but I usually just brighten that up with a concealer and all that stuff and everything looks well blended once we apply the concealer. Okay, for a concealer, I'm going to be using the Colourpop No Filter Matte Concealer and I am in the shade Light 18, I believe. Never remember all my shades. So I have been obsessed with this concealer and lately I've been applying my concealer just dotting like five dots underneath my eyes and on, on my eyelids and then you guys will see. So I'll just dot this underneath my eyes and then I'll also apply concealer and I use concealers nowadays as an eyeshadow base and then I'll just apply concealer in my usual areas and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the pointy sponge or the pointy side of the sponge and doing the same thing gonna spit that with this Avion spray and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer Okay, so now that the concealer is blended, I'm going to go ahead and take the Colourpop No Filter Setting Powder. And this is just the translucent one. And I'm just going to go ahead and tip it upside down. 
I'm actually going to give it a little shake. And then I'm just going to take whatever is in this cap and use that to set underneath my eyes and also set the rest of my face. So I'm going to take this contour brush from Real Techniques. And then I'm just going to tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set underneath my eyes. And wherever I apply concealer, I'm also going to use this to set my lids. And then I'm going to take the same damp beauty sponge and I'm going to go and dip that. I'm not going to spray any more Evian on it. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip it and then set the rest of my face with it. Okay, so normally I have a Morphe setting spray to set my face to make sure that all of the powders are blended and melted and all that but i ran out of it so for now i'm just gonna go ahead and go back to the evian spray and spritz my face so powders melt in and just you know it's well blended okay so i'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and do these brows and i will be right back okay guys so i did my eyebrows off camera so now i'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes and I normally use the Neutrogena Sun Kissed Bronzer and I normally use that to you know do the simple eye makeup look and also the bronzer but I recently just went out of it so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tarte Clay Play Palette and I actually have to be very careful in showing you guys this or careful in opening this because the highlighter part of the palette kind of broke um it's still there but it's just Broken up in so, so many little pieces that I can't put it back together. By the way, this is the second volume of the Clay Play palette. So, I'm gonna go ahead. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about, actually, first of all. We're not trying to make a mess. So, this highlighter is broken or has fallen apart. But I still use it. So, um, I don't know if I'm gonna use this as a highlighter for today. Um, because I did put out another palette for a highlighter. But for today, I'm just gonna use a bronzer, the bronzer and the blush from this palette so i'm gonna go ahead and take the bronzer shade terracotta which is this really beautiful shade right here sorry guys I'm trying to show you guys without trying to let the highlighter powder fall all over the place and make a mess i'm gonna go ahead and take the shade terracotta and i'm just gonna go and damp dip this flower blending brush that we received in an empty bag and I'm just going to go ahead and blend this all over my crease area, starting from the outer corner and then bring that all the way to the inner corner. This palette is so, so good. It smells like chocolate and the shades in this palette are so easy to blend and so buttery. Very, very easy to work with. I'm also going to take that terracotta shade and just blend that right on all over the lid. And then letting that meet with the crease area. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil brush. I'm going to take this pencil brush from Urban Decay. And this is from one of the Naked palettes. And I'm going to take the pencil brush and I'm going to go back to terracotta, this is right here. And then I'm going to go and blend that underneath my lower lash line. I'm just going to connect the crease as well. Okay, so I lowered the eyes though a little bit because I felt like I, was, I looked kind of washed out. So uh, before I move on to the rest of the face, I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with a nude pencil. So this is from Essence and this is just the Extreme Lasting Nude Pencil in the shade Silky Nude. I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with this. So just lining your waterline with any nude shade really does open up your eyes a little bit more and makes you look more awake and more fresh. So I really like doing that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go back to terracotta, that bronzer shade, and I'm just going to go ahead and buff that out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and 
bond up my face and add the blush before we finish up the rest of the face so again I'm going to take the terracotta shade right here and I'm going to take a blush brush from Real Technique but I use it use this as a bronzer brush and I'm just going to go ahead and dip this on there tap off the excess and bronze up my face which is just going to add warmth to your skin and I really really love the undertone of this bronzer it's just so beautiful I'm also going to bond up along my hairlines and then along my jawline. And then I'm going to go and take this blush shade right here called Desert. And I'm just going to go and apply that on the apples of my cheeks. I'm using one of the brushes from the Morphe 760 that I believe I'll just have the correct name. All the tools that I use in this video will be listed down in the description box. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this blush onto the apples of my cheek. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out using this Mikasa Dual Fiber Brush. And then I am actually going to go and put my face with a setting spray, but this time I'm going to be using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Now this is an illuminating setting spray. This will give you a very luminous look. So if you guys don't like a luminous look, but want a more natural looking finish, yeah, a little bit dewy, but not too dewy. If you guys are oily, then you guys can use any other setting sprays you guys have. But I'm going to be using this because I don't have... All my setting sprays are gone. I did just order, I think, one setting spray should be coming up soon. But I'm going to be using this. But to shake it up really quick. <laughs> While that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara. Or actually, comb my glasses and then apply mascara. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I really love this one. It gives you a very luminous, uh, luminous, voluminous and lengthy lashes. I usually apply two coats of this one. Okay, so I just got done um, applying my mascara on my upper and lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this makeup look i'm gonna go and apply highlighter now i'm gonna actually take the jaclyn hill original palette from morphe and i'm actually gonna take the first two eyeshadows from this palette and i absolutely love using these two for a highlighter so i'm gonna take in light and beam and mix those two together so i'm first actually gonna go ahead and highlight the inner corners of my eyes i'm not gonna highlight my brow bone because normally when i do simple makeup like this i actually leave my brow, my brow bone not highlighted so i'm gonna go ahead and take this brush from luxie this is just a little itty pencil pencil brush and i'm just gonna dot this right on my inner corners and see how brightening that is And I'm just going to dab that right there. And then I'm going to take this Morphe M510. This is my favorite highlighter brush. And again, I'm going to go back to in light and beam. And I'm just going to dip my brush on both. Tap off the excess and just highlight. Apply this on high point of my cheeks. I'm also going to just bring this a little bit towards the apples of my cheeks so when I smile it actually sees it and then I'm just going to go and bring that towards the high point of my cheeks. And then I'm going to go and highlight the bridge of my nose, my cupid bow, I'm sorry, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid bow, underneath my chin, you guys don't need to do the chin part, and then also under, under um, above my brow bone. 
And then I'm gonna go and actually take the clean side of my damn beauty sponge and I'm just gonna pat that highlighter in so it's synced right onto or into the skin. And then I'm gonna finish up this look or this makeup look before we move on to the lips with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I forgot to tell you that we are actually getting ready to I'm going to get ready with me to go to the fair. The county fair is in town and they're actually leaving this past this coming Sunday. So that's what I'm getting ready for. I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video. So I just set my face with the cover effect setting spray. And um, off camera while I was doing my mascara, I did apply the Trifle Cosmetic Sugar Bunny Lip Scrub. Looks like so. And I have been loving this lip scrub. I think it does such a great job at exfoliating my lips and puffing it for any lip product that I put on my lips. So to finish up this look, I am going to go ahead and combine or use these two lip products. The first one is from Wet n Wild. This is just the lipstick in the shade Bear It All. So this is what it looks like. I did feature this in my top 10 nude lipstick. In case I'm not seeing that, I'll have that on the card right here. Okay, so depending on my mood, I usually sometimes just go for, or depending actually on my top, I actually just, you know, go for this look or, and a matte, like a bold matte lip, or if I am just in a more neutral toned shirt like what I'm wearing right now, I'll go for a peachy glossy lip. So today I'm going to go for peachy glossy lip just to match my shirt and to look fresh. So I'm going to top it off with the Fenty Gloss Balm. This is the original one. Absolutely love this one. And I'm just going to apply that on the center of my lip. Okay guys, so that completes this video. This is actually the first time that you guys have seen me without my hair being clipped back. Since I got my hair cut, but I think my hair looks good today. So this is my current everyday or current go-to glowy fresh makeup look. So this is the look that I wear all the time whenever I go out to an errand or go to the mall with the kids or go anywhere that I have to do with the kids but I want to look fresh and awake and glowy and this is the type of look that I go for. I change up my lip color every now and then depending on the shade that I'm wearing but overall for the face this is basically what I use to achieve this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what are your go-to makeup products to achieve a glowy fresh makeup look. Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I know that you guys are part of my YouTube family. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you again so much for all of your support and for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.